y'all, man. We got Spider-Man No Way Home, plot details and character reveal, plus insane budget release. Damn, man. They, they plus, they linked out a budget release? Damn, man. But, hey, I heard it was a lot of news, man. I heard they show, like, um a picture of, um I think, Doc Ock and Spider-Man going against each other. You know what I mean? I, I think a picture or something. Let me see. I saw look on Google or something. Probably gonna go and we'll see the picture right quick for y'all, for y'all, for y'all peoples. Um, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, and Doc Ock. Um, what pitch is it? Picks. No way. I probably gotta go like to a video type shit. They got it. They don't got no pictures. I nah, don't got it. Nah, I don't got it. 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 But um, yeah. But they showed like a picture or something. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 it was like a lot of stuff they were showing. Like this whole week was about Spider Man. Like the past, I say past three days, it was about Spider Man. Like no cap. But um, today, man, we got another news, man. We got plot details and character reveal. And then, you know what I'm saying? Say, hey, like my channel. Hit my channel, hit the bell new. And um, yeah, let's get it. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, a.k.a. All Fires. And this morning, we have some brand new breaking details about Spider-Man No Way Home. We've learned officially via an exclusive report who Paula Newsom's character is. Now, after her initial appearance in the first teaser trailer, there you know about this, this black girl right here, a black woman, I mean? For a ton of speculative theories about who her character could be, mm. maybe even someone like MJ's mom. Well, we've learned officially, we'll issue a light spoiler. Oh uh, yeah, probably is though. Well, somebody, so somebody was saying it was um, Miles' mom and shit. But you know, we we don't know, but there's a lot of, a lot of rumors going to that though. Or it could be, it could be, it could be her mom though. Yeah, no cap a warning for who her character is and how it pertains to some small plot details in Spider-Man No Way Home, as well as contextualize it with some industry insider reports from over a year ago on how this detail now may set up Tom Holland's Peter Parker for yet another trilogy in the future of the MCU. We're breaking down everything in this exclusive, yeah. as well as industry insider Daniel Rickman weighing in via Twitter last night with some brand new details and rumors he's hearing, one of which the budget on Spider-Man No Way Home and it's absolutely insane. We're breaking it all <laughs> Damn, down. They lay out the budget. That's crazy, man. Like who who in charge of I mean, it ain't nobody in charge. Everybody man, you know, everybody mad for themselves. So you know, ain't no ain't no charge though. You know what I mean? Ain't no boss. It probably is a boss, but they, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> you feel me, man? But uh, well, it's probably at the end of the day it's probably is Sony like leaking this shit. But they using people to link it for them. You know what I mean? It, you know, it could be. I ain't gonna lie though, cause how you, how you gonna just link out a budget like that? That's crazy, though. That's crazy, man. That's oh, tough. That's tough right there. Maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 <coughs> now at 900,000 subscribers, Bless as me. well as Disney Plus subscriptions while the shows are live and tickets to go see Eternal starting next week. So if you want to be entered to win all your... Yep, you next week. After this week. One more week. No cap. What you have to do... Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So as I mentioned in the prologue, after Paula Newsom showed up in the initial teaser trailer, there were a ton of people who thought she was maybe even playing MJ's mom. Well, as we've learned via One Take News in their exclusive this morning, under the headline, Paula Newsom's role in Spider-Man No Way Home revealed exclusive, they go mm. on to report, quote, One Take News has exclusively learned who Paula Newsom will be playing in the film. What comes next does contain very, very minor spoilers for Spider-Man No Way Home. They've gone ahead and issued the spoiler warning for me, so now's a chance to leave if you want to go into the film completely. Man, hey, go ahead, Fine. man. I don't care. Who are we kidding? Yeah, I'm just here, man. Hey, man. I'm, 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 hey, I'm here for it. No cap. Here we go. Paula Newsom will be playing an the warning for me, so now's a chance to leave if you want to go into the film completely blind. Who are we kidding? You guys love this <laughs> Here we go. Paula... <laughs> No, nah, bad. Like who, who, who don't want to like? We love links and details, but we, but I mean, that ain't last. We came here for. You know what I mean? You know, see some links. You feel me, man? No cap. Newsom will be playing an MIT administrator. In Things about my jackpot candle that just makes sense. Inside every one of the candles is going to be a in the film. 
Peter and the film completely blind. Who are we kidding? You guys love this. Shit. Here we go. Paula Newsom will be playing an MIT administrator. MIT administrator. In the okay. film, Peter, MJ, and Ned all apply to MIT and were denied admission because of all the negative attention from Mysterio revealing Peter's identity in Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, After yeah, yeah. the spell, Doctor Strange attempted to make everyone forget about Peter's secret identity failed. Peter decided to try to find Newsom's character and change the minds of her and the other MIT staff. He finds her stuck in traffic on the way to the airport, and that's the shot that we see in the trailer. Now for a oh, second here. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it does seem like it's, yeah, there's a lot of traffic, you know, in the background if you tell all the cars. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let it slide that they just admitted that the spell that Doctor Strange tried to cast failed. Does that mean that everyone remembers who Peter Parker is? He actually didn't. That's what I was saying. If it failed, then they still remember who he is, though. If it did fail, though. You know what I mean? Type shit. Get his identity erased, or did it just fail in the sense that the multiverse broke? It's interesting they put that detail in there. Yeah. They like called them very minor details. I would say that that sentence is even bigger than the reveal of the character itself, but maybe not so fast. So while we don't know what they meant by that, the fact that Peter, MJ, and Ned were all applying to MIT is a huge huge deal because it was just over a year ago that industry insider Mikey Sutton, the original Spider-Man leakster, the guy who told us Tom Holland had been cast in Civil War weeks before it happened, he also leaked Black Panther as well, has a great track record. He said that the next trilogy for Tom Holland in the MCU was college years and that in fact they would look Well, hmm. We know, cause I ain't gonna lie, we never seen a, a you know, a Spider Man college. We only we only see him in high school and then growing up. Never in college though. So that'd be that'd be a good good um you know, refresh um what you call it, um Damn, what, what you call that motherfucker? But I know what I'm trying to say, like it's, you know, that'd be good refresh for um, Spider Man, you know, generation you know, generations to come. So college, that's 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 a good idea. You know what I mean? If they do that shit, do that route, that, that's, a, that's a good idea, no cap. I'd like to do three full trilogies, one in high school, one in college, one as Peter Parker. Oh, okay. Oh, W idea, no cap. As an adult, that's nine full films, three solo trilogies for Tom Holland. And now here we are hearing that he's applying to MIT in the MCU, I don't know, sort of seems like to me it lines up perfectly with Mikey Sutton's report. Yeah, it's like they signed up for another one. That's why he signed up for that, that job or whatever. So. That that's the plan to see yeah. a college trilogy for him next. Now, whether or not they met the Doctor though. Strange's we don't know. spell didn't work. Either way, that scene is... Oh, yeah, I thought I was talking about this picture. Let me see. God dang. That picture was fire. That picture looked fire. Though. It looked kind of fake. I mean, he running and shit, Spider-Man. I ain't like that. That thought it was a little different as hell from, from when we saw back in the day to now. He a little different as hell, though. But he looked fire, though. I ain't gonna lie. But he was a little different, though, no cap. <laughs> it's hilarious. Because it means that she still knows he's Spider-Man in the middle of... Yeah, that's all I was saying. Like, the spell didn't work. Like, they still... You know what I mean? Like, but it's probably like the multiverse broke. That's what probably happened. Because when we, when we went to the trailer, it was like a whole... They be like, mm, mm, mm. you know that, you know, transaction, like, mm, 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 mm. so shit like that, but shit, I don't know, yeah. Convincing her that they should let him in has to battle Doc Ock on the bridge, or it means she doesn't know who he is, rather she doesn't know that he's Spider-Man. He introduces himself as Peter Parker in an attempt to try to sway her to get in her good graces to get into MIT. And then ends up having to suit up as Spider-Man anyway when Doc Ock approaches. Either way, it's not working out well for Peter Parker, and that is just classic Spider-Man. Now, Daniel RPK, industry insider we report on often here at the channel, drops uh, updates in two places, both on his Patreon, which is a great follow, and his Twitter. Last night he was on Twitter, and this is what he had to say. He's hearing about Spider-Man No Way Home and some new updates. The first of which, quote, I hear No Way Home has a bigger budget than any Spider-Man movie. Nah, you know, I could tell they got a big budget, but you got all you got is Sins and Six. You got well, so-called two Spider-Mans that you know what I mean, post popping the film. You got all that shit. 
Yeah, that's a yeah. They spent a lot of money on this year. This this um, movie. I said this year. This movie right here. I ain't gonna lie. They spent a lot. Okay. Even Spider-Man Three. And if you're wondering what that number is, well, Spider-Man 3's budget was $250 million. Damn. Damn. Whew. And then they made that right, right back. They made that money right back. You spend money and make that shit right back. But you spend money and they make more money right back. No cap. Dollars by even today's standards, that is ridiculous. And yeah, that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. Okay. Absolutely insane number for one film. And that means that this... And there's only one film, though. Like, one film. You think that bitch be like two films or three. That's bitch one film. So a lot of movies don't be spending like that much. But let's, if it's like a MCU, because you got to do all the, you know, all the technical shit. You know how to be. You got to make a suit. You got to, you know what I mean? But in, in any other movie... It, it ain't, it, you know, they ain't close like that, like no 200 mil, or like even close. They probably a mil, but not like, yeah, not that much. Film must have topped that. That's absolutely crazy. So it I also that? hears Damn. that it, No Way Home truly feels like a Spider-Man centric film. Well, man, I would hope so. If there's three of them, and going on from there, he tweets out that No Way Home has more VFX shots and action scenes than any other Spider-Man film, and that he hears that No Way Home is the most shocking. An emotional Spider-Man film. I think some of those, whether he's hearing them or not, I'm not discounting what he's hearing, probably were a dead giveaway, especially considering the director himself just recently said, John Watts, that this is basically Spider-Man Endgame. The hype would definitely be indicative of that for sure. But if the budget is $250 million, then going right in line with more VFX shots and action scenes than any other Spider-Man, that's where you would spend the budget, 100%. But real quick, final thought, let me touch on what John Watts said about this being basically Spider-Man Endgame, or what Tom Holland and some of the cast and crew said about if they get to revisit these characters. Guys, do not be confused. Tom Holland's Spider-Man will franchises, or in the Sony Spider-Verse in lieu of Tom Holland staying in the MCU, who knows how that's going to play out, but Tom mm -hmm. Holland's Spider-Man is going nowhere. He is crossing over with Venom sooner. Yeah, I don't think Tom Holland going away either. I don't think so either, folks. Because they just said, like, Spider-Man and Venom about to, you know what I'm saying, collab and shit. So, or oh, be enemies. I don't know how they're going to do it. But, yeah, so I don't think Tom Holland going nowhere, though. But I, I will know they might make another Spider-Man, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think he, I don't think he going nowhere, though. But we see when this movie come out and shit in the, the you know December something in December yeah. We, we, then we later, see. hopefully in the MCU as it appears it's going to happen, and of course maybe for a future trilogy, Spider-Man is Sony's most lucrative IP, and as the hype for this film has proven, <laughs> facts like Spider-Man made them a lot, a lot of money. Just put it that way, they made Spider-Man not not Spider-Man, but you know Tom Holland. Made them a lot of money, and that's no cap. But <laughs> real shit, no cap. Proven, maybe some of Marvel's most lucrative IP. Lucky for Sony, unlucky for Marvel Studios, it's still over at Sony. So as long as Spider-Man these movies, and Tom Holland doesn't have really a good reason to want to leave the character, especially when there's so much Spider-Man left to tell, and he's now one of the OGs in the MCU. Yeah, now he is though. First he was like a little, you know, young motherfucker. Now he like the OG because he did like three films, but he did more films. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the squad thing, you know, with Iron Man, well, whoop the whoop type shit, but yeah. So don't worry about him going anywhere, guys, regardless of what you hear. Let me know all your comments down below. What do you think is going on with Doctor Strange's spell? Did it truly fail? Do people still know who Spider-Man is? And what do you think about them going to MIT? If you remember, MIT relates to one other huge character in the MCU. Tony Stark, but of course it does. Let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into Yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I miss Tony Stark though. I ain't gonna lie. We all we all miss Tony Stark. You know what I'm saying? But um yeah though man, that was a plot details, the character reveals, plus the same budget, you know what I'm saying? We just you know reveal and shit. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know in the comment down below. I'm out, y'all, man. We got a lot of news. I know I ain't do one yesterday, man. I ain't real too real for I did I did not give y'all one video though. I give y'all one that was the trailer of Eternal. I know y'all fool with Eternal. Say, so, hey, I was like, boom. There we go, right there. You feel me, man? Type shit. 
But um, yeah though, man. But you know, I'm back. I got y'all this one, man. It's gonna be one video game today because it's Sunday's my my chill day. Put them watch a bear game. Two bears playing. Two bears going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Bulls three and up with no cat. But um, yeah. But hey, let me know what y'all think about the plot details and the character reveals. Man, let me know in the comments down below. A lot of news, man. Next week, one more got one more week till the tournaments come out. And um, let me know y'all gonna see the tournaments too, man. Let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'm out. Um, yeah, peace.